In this problem, we are looking at geometrical vectors in the plane. The problem is, given that ABC, DEF, and OGH are equally spaced parallel lines, as are ADO, BEG, and CFH, so we have this configuration of parallel lines in this direction and in this direction, and also P is the midpoint of AD, so that point there is halfway between the points A and D. We're also told that the vector OH is called little h. I might draw that here. So that's the vector h. And the vector OA is what we're calling little a. It's the vector from O to A, maybe along here. So we're asked to express the following vectors in terms of A and H. All right, so let's see how we can do this. So first we'll start with the vector OC. Where is that vector in the plane? It's the vector from O to C. So we can actually draw it here. There's the vector OC. Okay, so how do we express OC in terms of H and A? Well, we can write OC as the vector OH plus the vector HC. That's the way we combine or add geometrical vectors. This vector here followed by this vector there gives a cumulative effect of going from here to here. Now the vector HC is parallel to and has the same displacement as the vector OA. So this is the same as OH plus OA. And these are the two basic vectors that we're referring to. So this is H plus A. So we've expressed OC in terms of H and A. How about the vector HA? Where is that on the diagram? It's the vector from here to here. So I'm going to write that as the vector HO plus OA. We're going from H to A, so we can go via O and then to A. And the vector HO is in the same uh, segment as the vector OH, but it's in the opposite direction. So this is minus H. And the vector OA is the vector we're calling A. So there we've expressed HA as, in fact, uh, we could also write it as A minus H if we felt like, the difference between A and H. How about over here? We'll go to vector GC. Where is that? Well, it's the vector from here to here. Let's write that as going first from G to H and then from H to C. Now the vector GH is exactly half of the vector OH because we're assuming these are equally spaced lines. So GH is just one half of H. And HC, we've seen before, is parallel to OA, so it's the same as the vector A. So we've written GC as a combination of H and A. How about OP? Okay, so this is the vector from here to here. It's certainly in the direction of A, so we expect it to be a multiple of A. And these are equally spaced, and this is exactly halfway uh, there. So altogether, this is three quarters of the way uh, to A. So it's three quarters of the vector A. And finally, GP, the vector from here to here. Well, we can write that as GO plus OP. 
OP, we have already established in the previous one. What about GO? Going from here to here. Well, that's again in the same direction as H, but only half as far. So that's minus H over 2. And OP, we've said, is 3 quarters of A. I should put uh, vectors on all of those. So we've expressed these various vectors in terms of these particular vectors A and H.